let us start with practicing a few more questions on light these are your IDCSC past paper questions so this is our question number five before this we have practiced a few more questions so to be more specific this question more relates to your magnifying lens right or magnifying glass the figure here shows a convex lens being being used to produce the image of an object so please identify where the object is where the image is how the ray of lights are traveling you see some solid lines you see some imaginary dotted lines so you should immediately get the hint by seeing the imaginary dotted lines that you are getting some imaginary or virtual image here so go through my theory on magnifying glass magnifying lens to understand how the how the magnifying lens works and what are the properties of the image formed by a magnifying lens. Now pick three, place three ticks in the table that describe the image. So look at the pointer, I am on question part one. So what are the three properties which describe the image? Is the image diminished? No. Is it enlarged? Yes. Why? Because the image is bigger in size as compared to the object, so easy to identify. Is the image inverted? No. It is not inverted. Is the image real? No. Why is the image not real? Because you see some construction of imaginary lines. The image is virtual. Is the image the same size? No. Is the image upright? Yes. Why upright? because the object and the image both are on the same si side of the principal axis, both are above the principal axis. The image is called to be not upright or inverted when the object and the image are on the opposite side. If the image would have been as is shown in the red arrow here, the image is called inverted because the object is above and the image is below. But in this case, both the image and the object are above the center line which is called the principal axis so the image is upright that's called upright both at the same side of the principal axis is the image virtual yes it is virtual i already explained because you see some imaginary construction with the dotted lines to find the image on this figure now i'm on the second part on this figure mark a letter E to indicate a possible position for an eye to be placed to observe this image. Now I would come at a location. You, you place your eye something like this so that so that's how you draw eye in physics. Simple and easy. Not a very complicated drawing. That's your eyeball. All right, so that's how you draw your eye. Okay, and you can write a letter E as well because that's what the question is telling you to do. So this is the location where the ray of lights are actually coming, actually coming and entering your eye because to see something, the light must enter your eye. Now the th third part, state an application in which the convex lens is used this way. So how is any application in which the complex con convex lens is used this way? Clearly in your magnifying lens. Magnifying lens. Let us tally our answer in a magnifying glass, in a lens, eyepiece of a telescope, microscope, binoculars. You can give any one of these as your answer. Let us come to the next question. Next question, question number six. In this figure, a ray diagram for a convex lens being used as a magnifying glass to produce a virtual image. So this figure is a ray diagram of a magnifying glass. Label the object. Obviously, you are magnifying any object here. So the object has to be the smaller one. This is your object. Now the second part says label the image this is your image label the principal focus this is your focus why focus has a property 
that a ray of light which comes parallel to the principal axis or parallel to the center line after passing through the lens it emerges from the focus it passes from the focus put arrows on the two rays to indicate their direction for mark question uh, is an easy question not so difficult if you understand all the concepts properly solving questions on light is never difficult so I'm putting the arrows here if you see I'm placing the arrows before the light is present before the lens and after the lens now the next part shows a ray of light and air incident on the interface of the glass light is coming from the air incident on the glass the refractive index of the glass is given to you accurately draw the ray as it travels in the class you will need to take measurement from this figure you need to take some measurement from this figure and carry out the appropriate calculation show your working so a lot of things you need to do in this in this question you need to take some measurement do some calculation and you have to show your working that's why it's a three mark question so think about it how do you start all the working there is no rough sketch allowed you need to be working appropriately first thing that you need to do is draw the normal let's use the blue color for the normal that's your normal normal let's call it n first thing that you need to calculate or measure what is the first thing that you need to measure is the angle of incidence what is this angle so for this you need to take out your protractor put it on the question paper and measure the angle of incidence which will be 35 degrees you'll have to manually do this process so how I know it's 35 you can take a protractor put it on the screen and measure it and the mark scheme also says that when you measure I it comes out to be 35 degrees now you know the angle of incidence you know the refractive index as well can you calculate can you calculate the angle of refraction let us do it what is the formula that connects i r and n it is sine i over sine r is equal to n all right so what is the value of sine i sine r sorry we are finding the refracted angle so it will be sine of 35 degrees over 1.5 so if you can do this calculation you'll find the value of r you'll have to find the inverse of this whole term on the right side as well so you have to use your calculator to do some calculations and then when you will do your working let's see if you are getting the same working yes r will be inverse of sine of 35 sine 35 over 1.5 exactly the same thing that we are doing and the value of r would be 22 somewhere between 18 to 27 would be considered correct by the examiner so there is a whole range of answer so let us take it as 22 degrees 22 degrees is the value of r let us now draw the refracted ray take your protractor take your ruler and draw a line which is at 22 degrees mark your working as well mark the angles this is your angle of refraction right this completes this answer and you get your full three marks for showing your working your calculation your measurement that you have taken here and the final end result do not forget to put the arrow why because this is light light is depicted with a line and an arrow all right and in the next video this is the mark scheme in the next video we'll be taking up more questions